Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Regan. Welcome back to yet another unboxing and review video. So today we are going to take a look at these newly released sticker of Hot Toys and it's quite huge. But when I saw the display in Hot Toys Secret Base, it's not that really big. I mean like the biggest this is the deluxe version. So it has it comes with the you know the backdrop diorama base. So I don't know why because I mean like it's gonna eat a lot of space in, in our you know storage so anyway this is none other than Batman or the Batman 89 Michael Keaton version MMS 693 1-6 scale collectible figure deluxe version and uh, yeah really actually I like the art box though that gray color anyway let's check it out okay let's open it Alright, so this is the art box. Actually, it looks really, really cool because, I mean, like, very simple. I mean, like, yeah, I, mean, I like that. I mean, I really like that. And then you could actually use that. You could hold this one and then, you know, stick it to your wall. And that's it, you know? And then that nice embossed print right here of Batman. Also, the logo here. Oh my gosh. If you are 89 kid, like, if you love Batman kid, uh, I mean, like, yeah, Batman Keaton version Oof. I mean like even if this is just a simple art box you still gonna love it believe me guys love this one nice like I would say like very oops Ooh, no damage because it, 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 even if it's just very simple you know you're still gonna love it you're still gonna feel that you know a uh, nostalgic um, you know movie right yeah and then at the back part right here okay so this is the art box so let's slide it up Right, so this is the inner art box, which you can see right away what's inside the box with that clear plastic and some nice print as well. Right there, simple one, you know, very straightforward, okay? Wow, so let's open it again. <laughs> mm, yeah, it smells good. Okay, so we got two packaging tray right here. Oh, no, 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 it's not. So it's only one, guys, it's only one got the figure right here that huge packaging tray or this packaging for this backdrop it's not that really big right I mean like whew. Right, so on this packaging tray we're gonna get the backdrop or the diorama base okay so we got the holder right here we got some kind of like a wood piece right here looks really cool huh? wow it looks like a real wood to me this is cool. Oh, the gargoyle. Oh, we got this. Like, oh, it's like the whole thing. This is actually really cool. So I think I understand now why they need to have that really huge box, you know, to really protect this gargoyle. Actually, you know, oh my gosh, because it's really really cool. I don't know if it's uh, if this is removable. Yeah, it is detachable from the base, which is really cool as well. Look at that. And of course, the base. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I think for me, in my opinion, if you don't have much of space, you can throw the box. Just fold the, you know, the art cover. I mean, like the, which is like the main art box. You could fold that and then throw it away, you know, the plastic. Well, if you're really a fan of Batman 89, I mean, you're just gonna keep the figure. That's it. You don't need to keep the box. Oof. I mean, like, wow. This is really nice, especially this base. This is amazing. Well, you could keep this one, you know. But this one is actually really nice. This is amazing. This, this diorama base is amazing. Oh my goodness. Love it. Look at that. Shit. So we're gonna... Take a look at this one. So we're gonna check it out later. So for now, let's just put this one on the side and kind of like that. And then let's check this out. Right. So we got the small packaging tray right here, which uh, comes with a lot of accessories and swap out hands and the figure. Okay, let's start with this one. So we got two pieces of joints right here. We got three pairs of extra interchangeable hands with different gestures. Okay, 
Okay, we got the oof. We get the stiletto, one piece stiletto right here, and then get a tool for separate rolling eyeballs. And then right here we got the bat around with some rope or in a string attached to it. Right there. And then we got the kind of like a, you're going to attach to his arm or to his hand kind of like a punch gear then we got the Batmobile remote right here looks really cool nice details as well and over here is the I think this is a bum remote there you go with the you know his logo Batman logo right there looks really cool and then right here we got the ninja kind of like spear but uh, yeah ninja wheels there you go and we got some tool I'm not sure where we're going to use this one so later we're gonna find out and we got three pieces of capsule uh, yeah smoke capsule kind of like that really really cool okay and the next up right here we got the grapple gun this there you go this one is detachable no it's not go looks cool and we got two pieces of rod right here plastic uh, yeah made out of plastic material okay so that we are going to use for his cape probably and then right here this is actually really cool we got this gauntlet right here with some you know weapons attached and looks really really cool okay all right this is amazing wow nice paint application pretty neat bam Okay, and then lastly, right here, we get the two pieces of extra interchangeable swap out the uh, lower face sculpt with the battle damage look right here and then a simple one, open mouth. Okay, looks really cool. Nice details as well. And of course, the main figure. Oof, I'm really excited to get the figure. This is actually pretty much the same with my old version. Damn, look at that. That is beautiful. Batman 89. That classic suit is really nice, guys. Oh my goodness. And the cape, of course, the upgraded, updated cape. Oh my goodness. But it looks like the same as well. I mean, like, hopefully it's not. But I think this is more accurate now, you know, compared to the old one, to the old version. I'm gonna find out later. So finally, remove the the paper like film here like kind of like a protection for probably for some you know discoloration hmm i shouldn't remove that actually <laughs> so i think that's it all right so we've got everything out of the box and laid on the table so i'm gonna go through the articulations and test the range of motion as well okay all right so i'm gonna start with the head obviously uh it doesn't have that much of you know range of motion or like articulation actually on the head in the film right but then of course if you want to check if you're gonna ask if we could move it uh yes we could twist you know see but again you know in the movie it's always like that like you know it's always like looking straight or looking forward and but then i could still you know yeah i could still move the head like look down there and then look up so there's still some articulations uh, i would say like the range of motion is still there it's just that of course um you know um originally in the film of course it's not gonna move you know because of the bat call that one whole piece bat call right so anyway moving on to the arms there you go the arms is like this pretty smooth so if you have the first version probably pretty much you know the same so up to 90 degrees and I can feel some nice uh, lock there, you know, on the joints. And it's still tight, you know. And then swivel. Yes, we could, be, we could be able to do some swivel here. Also on the other side. Yes, perfect. Okay, and then move up and down. Kind of, you know, you, I could... Yeah, just a little bit of up and down on the shoulders, okay. And we're moving on to the elbows. There you go, perfect. Double jointed, and uh, yeah, we could uh, be able to do some nice pose on the arm, especially on fighting, you know, scene. 
kind of like this, which is good. All right, amazing. I think that's decent, you know, enough. And at least it could, you know, lock up there, like, you know, the position. And then moving on to the wrist joint, decent, I would say, yes. And then next up, the upper torso or the waist part crunch in. Yes, so that's how it looks like with that uh, hmm, kind of like a uh, crumpled parts on the suit, which is okay or kind of like that because it's really like that, you know, in the film and in arch. Yeah, you can really hear some, you know, what is this like ratchet joint there. Then I could adjust this now. There you go. Side, just nah, actually, it doesn't have okay, twist. Yeah, we could be able to do some twists there, but not that much. It's going back to going back to the center. Other side as well. Nah. Okay, it's more of like just crunch in. So basically the whole suit's so like just uh what's this like always like straight, kind of like that. Anyway, moving on to the legs. Legs. Yeah, we could still be able to do some, you know, open legs there. I think that's the max. I think and then if you go into raise his leg to the front. Ooh, that that is nice ratchet there all the way up to kind of like 90 degrees but you know below uh, probably like our 80 degrees so at least we could still be actually no nah, should be 90 degrees because if we're going to sit him inside his back mobile it, it should have some at least bigger range of motion right let's see anyway this one right here perfect things fine to the back uh there you go okay swivel as well but uh, you know there is a movement inside but since the the suit is kind of like you know i mean like it's not gonna follow the movement so only the inside part or the the, the body you know that you could move something like this if you're gonna turn out like this uh, well i think it's fine not that really bad okay so swivel and then knees all the way up there nice perfect i mean like still good yeah at least double jointed and at the same time ratchet joint okay and then moving on to the ankle lastly okay point nice flex yeah i mean like uh, we could still move it i mean like hmm. twist there you go so we could twist the boots actually yeah and then some side yeah i'm actually pretty impressed that it has that uh, you know side bend on the feet right which is really amazing anyway i think that's it for the articulation so very quick i think it looks great uh not bad you know i would say like um it's very natural uh, and accurate you know from the film Okay, now let's try those accessories. Okay, I'm gonna try to change first the lower face cup. Let's see how it looks like. But I have to remove the full back cowl because, oops, yes, it's easier to, to detach or to remove that lower face cup. Okay, oops, first one would be, where is it? All right, okay, so I'm gonna start with this simple one. All right, so this is how it looks like. It actually looks, uh, yeah, it's actually really cool, right? Especially the details, the skin tone. That is amazing. But that mouth is kind of like weird, but it's actually okay. I mean, like, you know, it's weird, but uh, still that, you know, that Keaton lower face is, you know, I think it's pretty accurate, you know, right? Anyway. Let's change the other one to the battle damage look. There you go. Oh, this one looks really nice. Nice. That smiling face of Keaton and that, oof, those blood stains, wounds. Wow, absolutely incredible. Look at that nice details there. All right, nice. This is amazing. Okay. And then now let's try to move his eyes. So let's try to move that. Let's see if I could move it with just one finger. Actually, no. I'm gonna use actually even just. There you go. I can move the eyes. 
Yes, yeah, so he's now looking to my left. Oh, it's still weird because it's kind of hard to move his eyes because it's different head. I mean, like it's the bat call, but that looks really cool, right? <laughs> that is amazing. All right, so that's it for the lower face sculpt and separate rolling eyeballs. Boom! Nice, amazing. That is amazing. Wow, this is really nice. Anyway, moving on to the. Actually, this is like a remote of the bomb, not the Batmobile remote, right? Yeah, but the detail is really nice. Um, I think it's pretty neat, especially the, the paint application. Those numbers are very visible, I would say. Let's try this one. If we're going to remove his hand inside the gauntlet. So, there you go for this, um, yeah, for this piece on his hand. That's how it looks like. And then next up, so this grapple gun is actually detachable. This one, I believe this one has some magnetic function. Yeah, I believe the grapple handle uh, has that, uh, was this like uh, magnetic function. So somewhere around here. So you're gonna fold it like this. So this one's also movable. And it's gonna look like this. Kind of like that. Okay. So basically, because I was looking for this piece, like how we're going to attach that uh, front part of the grapple gun. So this piece right here is actually attachable to the belt. This is how it looks like. So finally found a way to attach this tool right here, or this piece right here. Is it's kind of like, uh, kind of like fragile, you know, once you attach it to the belt because I feel like I'm gonna, you know, break the, the paint, you know, or we're gonna damage the paint something like that and i'm gonna shoot this one right here so there you go that looks really cool and then now you could attach the other half of the oops of the grapple gun something like that or actually it should be other way kind of like that there you go nice amazing so i'm gonna keep that uh, but this one is kind of like so easy to um to fall from the belt so better to keep this or better not to put there you know i would say okay and then for this gauntlet um yeah so there's some movable parts here that you could actually open something like this just be careful because the, the some parts are kind of like fragile you know to touch but anyway let's put it back put it back to the center it has some uh which is like spring there you know, kind of like holding the two-piece, um, was this like weapon here? Kind of like that. So just be careful in moving it because again, it's kind of like, I feel like it's very fragile. I could stretch this a little bit, but then not much, you know, probably once you put it to the, you know, forearm. Okay, same on this one. I prefer not to open this one, just shoot it to the forearm of the, you know, of Batman. And then that's it. Then all the way. There you go. So that's how it looks like. No, but that looks really, really cool. Huh? Okay, so this is detachable. And there's so many dust already. Right, so that's it for the gauntlet. And then for the spear. Or I mean like for this uh, ninja circle and uh, this is this is the hand that you're going to use for this one okay that looks really really cool and for this batarang of course this is part of that uh, gauntlet you know uh, weapon hopefully I mean like uh, I wish I could try this one to hook it somewhere and then put the hand of <laughs> of Batman here I mean like not the hand but uh, his utility belt and then I could try to hang him let's see if like if it's really strong right and for this smoke capsule I don't know where we're going to attach this one probably just an extra accessories which is like uh, but uh, that didn't indicate like where you're going to put this one but again it's up to you how you're going to use it but I think it looks cool but then uh, probably not uh, necessary to you know, include on in these accessories. And lastly, probably this is going to be the last that uh, we are going to insert to his cape so we could uh, you know, see him like looks like he's going to fly. Actually, yeah, he's flying. 
right using this rod okay so again this is the rod two pieces rod and we are going to insert to his cape and it should be right here yeah so when i saw this one i kind of like what is that it's like a broken cape like the tailoring is not good so i realized like yeah that's where we're going to insert the rod so i'm gonna start with like this i believe the first version also has this uh was this like rod to insert to his cape but i didn't get a chance to uh try it because again uh some figures some of my old figures I haven't uh, uploaded those videos and I didn't really uh, haven't reviewed yet yeah. so it should be like this yeah actually the holding this gesture for the ninja star or ninja circle is actually also uh, I mean like a gesture for holding this rod let me show you guys so if we're going to open oops Alright, so finally I uh, was able to uh, was just like fix the cape something like this which is really really cool I didn't get a chance to do this on uh, on my first version so I think it looks really cool yeah see that so I just find the what is it I just found out that the other hand is actually not the same with this one this one the whole fingers is like you could open it whereas this one is like just a two finger i don't know why probably that's the design or maybe i don't know it's a factory defect but yeah these two fingers right here is closed it's like really glued to the palm where the, the two fingers is really like wide open but both hands is actually you know uh used for that uh, what is this Oh yeah, maybe the other one is for the batarangs and the other one is for the, you know, the ninja, uh, which is like ninja circle, right? So probably, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks actually the same. And then, yeah, it's also gonna work for holding this rod, which is really, really cool. See that? That is amazing. Probably gonna pose him like this, you know, on top of that, uh, what is this, like the diorama. Oh my goodness, that is amazing, guys. Oh. This is yeah very nostalgic my very first Batman um, mm, yeah figure back in you know 80s yes <laughs> all right so anyway I think that's it the other stuff other piece like this this one is just like extra accessory that you could put on the base and then this one this is probably like uh, yeah you could actually use this one using the hand right so moving on to this base which is amazing like really really amazing i really love this one you could actually use a lot of uh was it, like batman figures uh yeah i mean like this is incredible especially the details you know the paint application i think yeah it looks uh looks more realistic well you could still see some plasticky look but overall you know from afar it's really gonna give a lot of presence in your display shelves so yeah this is amazing and again the details the paint job it is nicely done and the weathering absolutely incredible so um hmm. so this piece right here that i showed you earlier this is where you're going to attach and of course the crotch holder right here in the middle if you're going to pose Batman there okay or you could also stand the you know Batman figure here and but uh, most of all this is actually for but basically this is for the gargoyle there you go and this is uh, movable you could rotate this one if you want to pay face like the gargoyle to somewhere else I mean like if you're going to I mean, Wait, there's some string there I mean if you really want I mean if you want to play around with the base I'm I mean if you really want to play with the direction of the gargoyle something like this which is cool as well again the woods this is really nice especially this part though Wow that is really cool I mean like I hope we could put some water here so we could see if if it's gonna flow but no it doesn't have that hole yes anyway 
it looks really really cool wow and then again yeah oh my gosh there you go wow that is absolutely beautiful anyway wow that's it let's take a closer look on the details those movable parts or detachable parts if there's any and then the materials that they use you know okay so i'm gonna start with the boots uh, i think the details looks really good pretty decent see right there some really nice touch there and again the paint application is nicely done especially that glossy paint i think it looks good and actually this one this boot shop is supposed to be kind of like a two-piece i mean like this one's supposed to be a kind of like a cover but they you know had toys made a uh, one piece uh boots so that's why we cannot really see that uh, kind of like nike so i think that's their purpose so that's why they made it like a one piece boot right so yeah because this one is actually the sneakers of nike and uh it's totally noticeable you know if you look at it see that especially this one right here right and uh, yeah the details especially those crumpled parts i think it looks fantastic and uh, underneath there you go looks good as well yeah some nice details and this one is made out of soft plastic material this top part and whereas the main shoes or the sneakers is made out of hard plastic material okay up to this part this one is still soft okay nice details and yeah this is detachable and movable as well okay moving on to the whole suit this is one who piece suit there you go some nice details there especially the you know the abs here nice and uh, yeah i just wish that this one um is much smoother than like this because this one looks like like it's too much like exaggerated like rough texture I don't know like if you watch again the movie like that one's like more i mean like uh it's much smoother than this one this one is kind of like too much right i mean it's okay uh yes it's probably like that you know but uh i would say like maybe too much you know yeah too much rough texture so hmm i think it's okay but the details re really nice you know i think it's pretty accurate from the film and same here on the abdominal part okay the chest the arms and what else yeah yeah i think it's good again this one is made out of rubber material so um this one is actually easy to take care of so just find some rubber uh which is like rubber lotion then it will protect and also it will, it's gonna last longer for sure okay and then this one is also movable with a fin, this gauntlet, nice paint application. I like those kind of like a slash, you know, on the gauntlet. All right. Also this one right here. Yeah, nice paint application. I would say like very straightforward. And again, it has some pads here. No, actually not pads. Yeah, only here, these pads. But then mostly it's uh, kind of like a, it has some space inside. So mostly like kind of like a thick rubber material all right so yeah overall looks good you could see oh, i could really press and it has a lot of space inside okay back part yeah then right here as well nice oh yeah this is also soft so it's just like one whole piece of rubber material okay and then the hands actually like the hands as well so i like the details on the palm okay, but again the details really nice paint application fantastic okay the utility belt again looks really good nice paint application there details uh very straightforward you know i would say like very accurate from the film okay made out of like soft plastic material as well okay and then the cape looks really good i think it's pretty much the same with the first version but probably much or like better uh material i would say um but yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like a pleather, but more of like a suede uh, material because underneath you could really feel some, 
you know, suede or like velvet uh, material there. Uh, yeah, but then, uh, but this one is kind of like that. Maybe uh, just a little bit of leather material, but mostly it's more of like uh, fabric and velvet material. So hopefully it will last longer. But I somehow I you know uh, I don't like the the embedded wire. Sometimes I mean like it's okay for dynamic poses. But if you're going to do some, what is this like? Let's say, look at this one. Like it's already like uh, folded since I already used it to the you know like open wings, and it's it's kind of like hard to bring it back to straight form. So if you want to do some look of like probably in the movie, you know, it's it's gonna it look like it looks like that. But then if you want to make it like drape or like a drop of like very smooth cape, like if you're going to do some you know museum pose then you're not gonna achieve that you know straight look here on the side because of those wire you know but probably um in the film you know uh maybe it's like that you know but what i'm saying is like that you know i mean yeah <laughs> anyway so it, it, it's just that it's just the embedded wire but overall the tailoring the look the overall look of this cape is it looks good you know okay and then lastly, the bat cowl, like absolutely beautiful. Look at that, especially the sculpted part right here. Uh, like it's like almost perfect to me, you know, in my honest opinion. Uh, I mean, like look at that. That is really, really nice, nice paint application and uh, which is like the details. All right, look at that. Especially the texture, absolutely incredible. You know, the shape. Like it's almost perfect. Um, I'm gonna compare this one later to my old version, to my first version. But again, this one looks really, really good. Although that first version is already like you know uh, amazing, but this one I could really see some nice upgrade from the first version. Especially that bat cowl, also really nice. You know, you could really feel you will really somehow reminisce that very first Batman that you watch. You know, if you're an '89 kid, then. Yeah, that is really, really nice. But this one, I really like the texture of this one. This one looks much better than the suit. It should have been like it should have been like this, right? I mean, like you know, the texture. Uh, this one is you can still see some rough texture there, but you could tell that it's much smoother than you know than uh, the suit. But although I understand because this one is a bad cowl, you know, compared to the suit. But again. It, it, it is this is too much i mean you know, like those rough texture but again you know especially that separate rolling eyeballs really amazing that's like that's definitely an upgrade i think yeah the old, the first version also has that you know but again uh looks much better because this is separate rolling eyeballs so yeah you could really play around and that that is amazing you know and then again that head sculpt or lower face sculpt is absolutely incredible that's definitely keaton right there you know the likeness even if it's just a lower face sculpt you could still see the resemblance of michael keaton there i just really wish you know had to add in an extra you know head sculpt of bruce wayne you know because that 92 version is kind of like a not that really accurate you know but hopefully you know just like they always do you know they always make 2.0 so hopefully that 2.0 is gonna be like it's gonna look better you know than the first version and uh, probably artisan right why not but then again overall this uh bat cowl and the head sculpt even the just even just the lower face cup is absolutely beautiful all right so i think that's my overall review on this figure you know the details i think i already explained everything uh yeah still great still beautiful even that a uh, little bit of a little bit of flaws you know in my opinion but again still absolutely beautiful again if you are a fan of kitten batman if you're an 89 kid then this is definitely a must buy a must have figure in your dc or batman collection absolutely beautiful right amazing one last thing before i give my final thoughts on this figure uh just a quick comparison between these two versions of course the first version uh, which is the dx09 and already changed the cape of this one so i had the i'm gonna show you guys later the cape of this uh old version whereas this new version again uh, uh of course it's it looks much better 
course, than this one because this one came from the knockoff, you know, figure. But again, uh, you could see uh, right away what's the difference, you know, like of course some details on the suit, on the bat suit, and of course this one is a bit thinner than this one. This one is much thicker than these old version and of course the texture i prefer this uh texture like a bit like uh, much smoother than this uh, new version and yeah there's a lot of things actually there's a lot of details that you know we could talk about on this uh on these both figures you know so that's why i want to do a separate video on these two figures so yeah so stay tuned okay and then even that lower face cup is definitely different you know yeah I would say like an upgrade you know on this one so yeah even the batman emblem or logo even the colors are different the belt you know the details on the abs and again the size the scale yeah there's a lot of stuff that we could talk about in these two figures so later stay tuned i'm gonna do a separate video on this two okay very quick all right i think that's it and my final thoughts on this Hot Toys Batman 18 and 2.0. I would say it is absolutely incredible. It is a great looking piece. Although this is not a DX, but I would still call it like 2.0 because it's pretty much the same from the first version and definitely an upgrade, you know, from the first one. So definitely uh, and definitely a must buy in your DC collection or in your Batman collection, especially if you're a fan of that, you know, Batman kit on 89, then this is a no brainer. You're really a fan of that you know oh my gosh that's definitely a must buy in your collection however if you're still happy with that first version i think that's totally understandable i mean like mine still looks great but if you find it like some uh like some like, let's say discoloration or the cape doesn't look good anymore or like the face cup you're not happy with the you know some cracks or like some damage then this is definitely a mass upgrade to your you know from your first version and it still looks great especially with that base the base that comes with this new version that is absolutely no-brainer it looks great so i think you should definitely upgrade your first version but again i'm not saying like you you have to buy right now maybe later you could buy later maybe some uh some collectors gonna sell it like on a cheaper deal or cheaper price then you could you know buy that and then that's it you know and then you're finally gonna get your your new version but for now you know you can still just you know keep your first version and enjoy it and that's all about it you know as long as you're enjoying your figure i think you know you, do, you don't need to like keep buying and buying and buying okay i think that's about it so let me know your thoughts on this figure as well feel free to comment down below and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet okay until then see you on the next one Peace.